Are you really doing a lip swatch video of red lipstick if you don't end up looking like the Joker by the end? I think not. If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be part two of my finding the best red lipstick for you video. I will link down below. I did one, one, two, three years ago, a little while ago. And I wanted to just share more shades that I think would work on a lot of different people. And as always, I will be mentioning the undertone and everything and kind of letting you know if you have, for example, a warm medium skin tone, I would go with this one, etc, etc. But a lot of these are actually like true reds that would work for most people. Let's start with this L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color 368. And I adore this. Uh, I swear if you hid the packaging and you only left me with the wand, just this to apply it and test it, I would 100% believe that this is high-end liquid lipstick because first off, the applicator is freaking amazing. I swear I've seen very expensive lipsticks with that and it's incredibly soft. It goes on very pigmented, very creamy. It comes out quite liquidy, but as you can see, it does dry fully matte. Very, very comfortable. Honestly, it feels luxurious, which L'Oreal has a lot of high-end brands underneath his umbrella. So I would totally believe it that it's exactly like other high-end ones. Let me just swatch it on my hand so we can compare the colors. But this one is a deep red. So I feel like these colors are very forgiving. I feel like a lot of people can pull these off. Even if you are afraid of red lipsticks, I think that this is a really great way to get into it. Even if you have a warm undertone, I think that this color would be amazing. It will also not make your teeth look yellow, which... I mean, the holidays are coming, we want to take pictures and everything. This would be an amazing shade. There's just a hint of berry into it. I feel like a lot of the other shades that I'll mention are like true reds. Just a little something different, just a little bit uh, deeper and berrier, and I adore it. I've gotten so much use out of it, and I will continue to do so because they wear very nicely. But yes, I wanted to give a shout out to the L'Oreal Liquid Lipsticks because they're bomb. Oh, and by the way, before I move it, let me try to see. Maybe I should have waited a minute longer, but just to give you a little bit of an idea. See, it's not even fully dry and there's like the tiniest amount of transfer on the outside, which was probably still wet. So they are kiss proof. Maybe not makeup proof, but they're kiss proof. <laughs> but if you're looking for a stocking stuffer, mini makeup remover, maybe it makes some of my favorite lipsticks, especially the drugstore. I feel like their formulas are consistently amazing. And they came out with their made for all lipsticks and they have two red lipsticks in there. So I thought I would give them a shout out and include some of the lip swatches that I've made but these two shades are just amazing. The first one is Red For Me, which as you can see is a classic red with maybe a hint of warmth in it. So if you have a warm undertone and you're looking for that bam in your face, bright red, I would totally recommend that one. It's just so stunning. It makes you really stand out. And again, the formula lasts really well throughout the day. And the other one is Ruby For Me, which is just a little bit darker. And both of these are very, very creamy. They are not drying. I know they're well known for a lot of their matte lipsticks, but these ones are definitely more like satin finished. They're definitely more forgiving if you have drier lips. So yes, these are both amazing reds that I would absolutely recommend. If you're looking for a lipstick formula that will not transfer, but also is not a liquid lipstick, you need to check out the Maybelline Ink Crayon. I always want to call them matte because of their liquid lipsticks, which I actually did a video wearing these again a liquid lipstick and they wore so nicely. I will link the video if you want to see them perform, but they last so well on your lips. They are not drying, they don't transfer. It's pure magic. That's basically what I've been calling them because how does a lipstick last so long without transferring, without being drying? It's just, just maybe like I said, they, they just do it for me with lipstick. So I have two shades and once again, there is a classic warmer red and then a darker one. So Hustle in Heels, as you can see, is once again a classic red with a hint of warmth in it. It is a bit lighter than the other one and a bit warmer. And this is just such a nice color once again. I just can't recommend this enough. And then the other one is Only Empire, which as you can see is once again a little bit darker. You can see a pattern in colors. I feel like whenever I swatch all of them on my arm, they will look a lot of them similar, but we're trying to find just different formula, different colors that might work for you. So they will look similar color wise because there's only so many shades of classic reds, right? But basically you can decide if you want something a bit creamier, more moisturizing or something that will last throughout the day a lot. Like literally no transfer will resist your meal. And this one, since it is a pencil form, you can really line your lips with them and you do get a sharpener at the back so you can sharpen them whenever they become less 
pointy, more dull. <laughs> I had mentioned the uh, liquid lipsticks last time, but I think I had mentioned the color Pioneer. So quick shout out to the color Dancer, which again, these are some of my favorite liquid lipstick ever. You have to apply the thinnest amount possible on your lips, otherwise they will be sticky, but that's because they are not drying. So if you're tired of liquid lipsticks that dry out your lips, definitely recommend checking out these ones. They have so many shades now. And this one is again, more of a classic red with a hint of warmth in it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to the NYX Powder Puff Lippies, and I'm currently wearing the color Group Love, which I feel like these don't get mentioned a lot, but I really enjoy them. I tend to wear them almost like as stains because they have kind of a velvety finish. They're not fully matte, they do transfer a little bit, so that's why I tend to apply just a little bit and then blend them with my finger and I'm good to go. They're pretty low maintenance that way and they have a bunch of different shades, but this one is definitely a cooler tone red. So if you have a, like for example, very fair skin, a cool undertone, I feel like this color would be amazing. But again, any cool undertone should check out these type of like pinky reds. It just makes me feel like Snow White whenever I wear it, especially like black shirt and everything. <laughs> so yes, uh, these are very, very low maintenance. So that's why I really enjoy them. So you can see that this one is definitely more pink than the other ones, but it has a very interesting matte formula because it's not drying whatsoever, yet it's very, very matte. It reminds me a little bit of uh, MAC Ruby Rue without being drying, the way it looks like. It doesn't wear as long, but it looks great. And you can see these stain a lot. I think that everyone, including myself, need a reminder that the Milani Matte Naked lipsticks are amazing. And I'm always talking about the color Naked, but there are other shades in that range, and the range of color is great, and the form is amazing. <sighs> matte Confident. So like I said, I'm always raving about the color Naked. It's like one of my favorite, uh, best, like nude, everyday type of color. But this one is just such a gorgeous red. And this color, as you can see, is a bit darker, but it has a bit more brown in it than the other ones that I've been mentioning. So this I would especially recommend if you have a neutral to warm undertone because it makes it so easy to pull off. And I know the bright reds can be intimidating, I get it. But this one is just gonna be right up your alley, especially if you're someone that enjoys matte chili, for example. I know that that shade is like one of the most uh, best-selling in Asia. And it's probably because it's just less bright and so easy to pull off. And the formula is very, very comfortable. It goes on very evenly, very like, not thick in a bad way, but like very satisfyingly, like it's on your lips. And they last really well. They're matte, but a comfortable matte. And they smell like vanilla, basically like a MAC lipstick. So if you were looking for a cheap alternative to MAC Chili that was in my past video, I would highly recommend this one because the formula is great. That's why I'm always wearing the other shade. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I will include a clip of me wearing it because I am currently packing <laughs> for moving. But Fenty Beauty Liquid Lipstick, that gorgeous color needed to be raved about. I thought it was in my past video, which is why I hadn't planned on including it, but it's not. So I did a video actually wearing it against the Sephora Liquid Lipstick that was in my first video. And you can see that the color is actually just a little bit darker, which is probably why it's easier for most people to pull it off. And it wears so nicely. I was a little bit nervous when I did that video because if you're gonna compare a new liquid lipstick to one of your all-time favorite, it almost doesn't feel fair, but it wore just as nicely. After the second meal, it was starting to fade, but it faded very nicely. It wasn't overly drying. The color was just so stunning. So yes, if you have not checked that out yet, I would highly recommend that one. Like if you would just want one liquid lipstick, red one. I would definitely recommend that one because it's just, and it does work for most, if not all skin tones. By Beauty and Muse Bush lipsticks. These are some of my favorites, but I don't feel like I give them enough love on this channel. I don't talk about them a lot, but I did do in the past a lip swatch video actually on a lot of these. So I will link everything down below as usual, but I wanted to talk about three different shades because I wanted to give you some options again, depending on your skin tone and undertone, but. <laughs> Let's start with the gorgeous orangey Cayenne one, which if you have a warm undertone and you're looking to have a bam, bright, amazing color, I can't recommend this enough. It is gorgeous. And these go on like thickly, but like again, in a really satisfying way. It's on your lips to stay. My favorite part is that one, these are moisturizing, long wearing, and they smell like pink lemonade, which is why I adore them, not gonna lie. Uh, but yes, if you're looking, if you're like tired of all the matte lipsticks that I've talked about and you want something more moisturizing, I highly recommend these. Like these are just amazing for that. So if you were looking for something even deeper than the Milani one that I mentioned with a brown undertone in it, 
you need to try this one, which is the color Maple. Once again, very comfortable, very moisturizing, very opaque on the lips. And this one is darker. Actually, <laughs> swatch, why am I not showing it? You can see it is darker, definitely a good healthy shine to it. So if you have a warm undertone or maybe a deeper skin tone, you need to check out this color because it is going to be gorgeous on you. And again, they last so long because of how pigmented they are. Your lips are going to be stained and they will not dry out your lips. Actually, I should have done that from the beginning. I want to show you how pigmented these are. This angle is weird, but this is what I mean by pigmented. <laughs> They're so creamy. So this last shade is the most true red between the three of them. This one is the color Gaspacho. Gaspacho? Is that how you say that? And by the way, these are edible in the sense that all the ingredients are very, very natural. So if that's important for you, I would definitely check out By Beauty in general. But yes, these are Moose Bush lipsticks. They're just... So you can see that that one is definitely more of a classic red. It is similar to the other ones. But once again, this formula is definitely creamier and more moisturizing. Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, again, three different options for you, two different formula. Let's start with the matte one because I can't be helped. This one is the color Red Carpet, and as you can see, this is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous... I mean, if you're gonna go high-end, you do expect a bit more, you know, presentation, and Charlotte Tilbury just does it. So this one is the color Red Carpet Red, and as you can see, it is a pretty true red with maybe a hint of cool undertone to it. What I like about this is that the formula is just so thin on your lips that it feels like this is just your lips. You don't feel it on your lips whatsoever. And uh, obviously this is the shade that I swatched right there. It is similar color-wise to the other ones because again, classic red, but the formula is definitely very unique. And you can see even from this distance that it's almost like a velvety matte lipstick. It's not drying, it just, your lips become this color, you know? The two other ones, I believe, are part of the kissing range, which means that these ones are more of a satin finish. They're creamier, more shiny on the lips. So the first one is So Marilyn. This is another one of those red with a hint of brown in it. If anything, maybe a little bit of like rusty, kind of orangey brown. And it looks, again, amazing. As you can see, it's a bit darker than the other ones. And the formula is definitely more forgiving if you have dry lips or you don't want to wear anything that is matte. So... This color is definitely very popular according to Sephora, <laughs> but I definitely agree that it's an amazing shade. And then you have Love Bite, which again, that very bright orangey type of red. I would feel like this would look gorgeous if you have a warm undertone, maybe even blonde hair. I feel like this would just make you really, really stand out. It's like a fiery red. And yes, again, creamy, shiny. It just, I mean, it speaks for itself, right? <laughs> Last but definitely not least is this YSL. The full name is Rouge Pure Couture, the Slim Matte Lipstick. And I have the shade number 21. And this is straight up what dreams are made of. If you want to ask for one high-end lipstick for your birthday or Christmas, this color is straight up magic. I have to say, I don't like the shape of the bullet. I do feel like it makes my life much harder to apply. Slash right now, my lips are already damaged from all the swatches, so it's not easy. But the formula is just this magical velvet finish that, like, it's very comfortably matte. There's no shine to it. There's barely any transfer as, uh, as the night goes on. This is basically what I wish Matte Ruby Woo was. And I love that shade. Everyone loves that shade because of the velvet finish on your lips. This is that, yet it is very easy to apply and it's just a little bit darker. So I feel like once again, this would work for every skin tone. It's just such a classic red. And again, being darker than Ruby Woo, it works better for most people. I can't recommend this enough. Honestly, it's just one of my favorite new discovery and I just really, really need to rave about it. But once again, my only complaint is the applicator. It does smell like perfume and I'm not big on perfume, but it really doesn't bother me. I feel like if anything, it actually smells really nice. So if you were looking to splurge on one lipstick, I definitely would recommend checking out these YSL ones. So those were a few <laughs> recommendations. If you're looking to find the perfect red lipstick, once again, I will link down below the one that I did in the past because I mentioned a lot of the classic MAC ones. So if you were looking to, you know, learn more about undertones and everything, I do give a good amount of information in this one. So once again, it will be linked. But I hope this video was helpful that you may have found a new red to check out. Let me know in the comment section your favorite ones because I want to know. I could always use some more red lipsticks, even if they look similar. We, we now know that they're kind of different, right? <laughs> I've actually been looking into getting the Bissami lipsticks. I still have yet to try that formula and they have like so many great red lipsticks. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because you definitely don't want to miss any future videos. I'm actually thinking about doing a version for berry lipsticks and then corals and I could just keep on going like this. So let me know if you are interested and I will be putting on the screen more videos that I've done that I recommend you check out and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.